fam, it is Coach Rock from Team Flex, and we got some breaking news out of Olympia Wellness. Uh, Fran has fallen, everybody. It is a crazy turn of events. Issa is our new wellness champion, the new standard, the new criteria definition for all of you wellness competitors out there. And so obviously a lot of people are shocked. Um, even in my own prediction videos, I was saying, you know, Fran is basically one of these athletes that cannot be necessarily beaten until it happens, right? And it happened yesterday. Um, and I've been getting bombarded with qu questions like, hey, what's going on? Why did this happen? How did this happen? Everybody still, you know, a lot of people think Fran should have won. A lot of people also side with Issa. I wanna break it down for you real quick. And we're gonna do much more detail to end in-depth review of Olympia Wellness and other divisions soon. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe or you want to catch those videos, make sure that you are hanging out and subscribe with me. We're going to buzz through this one. I'm going to bring it down to one shot that I think really made the difference. Okay, so if we look here, uh, we can see Fran and Issa both pretty on point. I mean, they've been just points apart for a while now, multiple Olympias at the Arnold everywhere, right? And we can see here in pretty much every pose, they are right there again, um, both really representing criteria very well, lower body dominance in the glutes and in the quads and the hamstrings, everything here is screaming wellness, hence the top two per usual what they bring in. Um, you know, Fran, I will say, looks a little bit more upper body dominant than Issa does, and that could be, you know, a number of things. However, I don't think that in any of these poses, there is a clear necessary, oh, this person is just a little bit ahead. I mean, I think they're pretty on par. I continue to see Fran's upper body looking a little bit bigger, but again, I don't think this is any of the poses that really dictated it from the back, very comparable. A little bit of size difference between the two of them, but that's just because like their actual structure is a little bit different size, right? It's not necessarily that they have more muscle than each other in any degree. They have about actually the same muscle for their frame, same condition. So again, very, very close. This, however, is the shot that I believe lost Francielli the Olympia, okay? And if we look at this final quarter turn here, I'm not exactly sure what happened to Fran, but she did not hit this pose. She did not bring this through. And at this level, you cannot have any room for any of that because then what happens, happens, and Issa takes the championship, right? So every other pose, very, very comparable right there. But this pose, Fran just did not nail for whatever reason. I mean, when I first saw it, right? Like, you know, it, it was, I knew it was pretty much over at that point for her because there was no way they had been so close in points before. And again, right here today, this is a one point difference, folks. This is a one point difference that gets Issa to be Olympia champion over Fran in this instance. And uh, I would be, you know, it'd be a pretty good assumption to say this is where that one point was deducted um, in this pose because really here, Issa shows everything that is wellness. She's showing, you know, good muscle shape, but not too crazy. Nice taper, very dominant lower body, very dominant quads and hamstrings, everything all the way that it should be for the criteria. And, and Fran just totally missed this pose somehow. I don't really know how it was even, it, it, you know, she slipped up on this, honestly, you guys. Because it should have been there. I mean, she looks pretty up and down. It looks like a rectangle pose, not showing any shape. We don't even see this shoulder because her hair is in the way, right? So, I mean, again, here it's just it's just not hit. It does not nail it. And at this level, at the top, when you're going for Olympia Championship or at really any pro event, these tiny, tiny little things do come down. Like, you can miss a pose like that, and it's game over. All right, you guys, real quick. So, obviously, it's Olympia weekend coming up, and we're pretty notorious for doing some of the biggest giveaways in the sport of bodybuilding and we got to do it again this year so we're going to give away one month free coaching of our ultimate competitor program it's our top tier premier program that all of our athletes use beginners to pros all around the world no matter where you are you can be eligible to win this and you get one free month access to work with me or one of my coaches we'll guide you every single step of the way just as if you're a normal paying client and we're doing that for free we're going to give away literally 30 spots of this Okay, 30 of you watching right now will win one free month of our ultimate competitor coaching package. 
And uh, that's very exciting. So all you need to do is go down there, get on the email, subscribe, put your email in, and we will contact you if you win. All right. And we're picking winners right after the Olympia next week. So be ready. It's a great time to get on this list, get a free month of coaching, no obligation, no payment info, nothing. Literally, it's our give back. We do it every year for the bodybuilding community. And that's what we want to do. That's the whole point. We do this channel. So if you like what we do here, you will really, really like what we do with the coaching. Get your name and your email on on that list below and we'll contact you if you win all right thanks back to the video i mean this is a great message to all of you athletes out there no matter your level even if you're a beginner you got to really practice your posing you want to make sure that you hit those things and literally your placings at competitions even at amateur npc level can come down to who's better at posing right physiques can all be pretty comparable and the posing really executes it so you know, really, really close again for Fran and Issa, and it kind of excites the wellness division a little bit, I think. It makes it a little bit more exciting now, right, because we're, we've are we been seeing Fran win, win, win. You know, this would have been her fourth in a row, um, and now we have Issa taking championships, so we'll have continued fight between the two of these. And, uh, you know, Eduarda, she came in third. That's a huge placing for her. We talked about her, her future. We'll talk more about that in future videos, so again, make sure you subscribe. Uh, but this was a very, very close uh, Olympia, however, very blatant, obvious reason I think that uh, Fran did not retain title again here this year, this season, and now Issa is our new champion. Uh, very good physiques to both athletes, very good representation of criteria, and you will notice too, we didn't see any of these mass monsters in the lineups. A lot of you were commenting on the channel and on my Instagram and stuff saying, hey, your predictions are totally off, dude. There's going to be this person in there. There's going to be that person in there. And I even responded to some people saying, no, they're going to be too big. That's too lean. They're pushing criteria too much. That's not what they want. And everybody's trying to tell me that that was not going to be the case. Well, it definitely was the case. We didn't see any of those athletes in the top. The call out in the top was basically as uh, I thought it would be. And, you know, Issa coming in, taking this win is amazing for her. Very, very good. She's been one of the, you know, first athletes in the wellness division to get one of the first pro cards when they introduced it. Uh, but let's just say this, you know, Brazil is dominating wellness division and it is blatant. All pretty much the top five is Brazil uh, with the Dominican Republic involved, right? So it's pretty crazy, you guys, what's going on here in wellness division. But it's a great way to see it shaping out. Issa is much more developed in the ideal of what wellness should be. Uh, you know, Fran's right there with her. They're both there. But it's really good to and refreshing to see that we're not seeing any of these mass monsters or these super lean or these super, you know, just huge wellness girls that are out there winning these events or even even getting top call outs it's really a key indicator of where this division is going and like i said i'm already saying too much for this video we'll do a lot more olympia content so make sure you're following make sure you subscribe and get in on that giveaway too because we're running that thing it's gonna be awesome we'll let you know when you win all right thanks for watching coach Rye is out